So we've had time to think and talk about Animals in Danger, our orangutans book, and we've talked about Ahmad's journey. And what I want us to do is to think about these, these books together. And in both of these books, we've talked about different decisions that people had to make. And I want you to think about this question. What are some decisions that people have made that affect the orangutans, that have caused them to become endangered? Oh. And, and why do you think people make those decisions? They did the, like, they cut the trees so they can make more homes and stuff, like more buildings. So why do you think people made that decision? So like, because there's not enough room for other people to move in because since all the other people took the houses and stuff, so they had to like cut off the trees so that they could like get more homes and they can build them. Mm -hmm. But like, they're taking away the orangutan's home. Do you think people were thinking about that at the beginning? No. No. Tyler, you talked to us a lot about, can you find that, that, that graphic of those circles, that's a, those are called pie graphs that show how the forest was disappearing over time. What kind of decisions do you think people were making along the way here? Tyler, what are things that you're thinking about those decisions? This was so helpful to us as we began to think about how this rainforest is disappearing. So what were you thinking there about decisions people might be thinking about there? I think that people are thinking that destroying the forest might be a good way of collecting palm oil to mm. make products. So having more places to grow that palm oil. Hmm. What kind of decision, what do you think caused them to make that decision? They want to grow more palm oil because why? So they can make more products to make more money. Ooh, came down to money for you too. David, you talked about money in the last, when we were talking about um, Ahmad's journey. What do you think caused people to make this decision to take that rainforest mm -hmm. land? Well, they want, well, I said that they were selfish and all they wanted was just money. I think that the people that are, they're making the rain dance in danger because they want, they want to like kill them and like sell them and cut down the rainforest so they won't have any shelter no more and they could make them as pets. Mm. And why would someone decide that they wanted an orangutan as a pet? Maybe just because um, they're like on the loose because they don't have the rainforest no more. Mm -hmm. And that they, yeah, like I said, like um, they could just use it and they could die and then they could sell like the parts. Mm. I think they want them as pets because um, <clears throat> to probably get attention. The person who owns the orangutan gets attention. What kind? What? What does that do for someone? Do you think? How does it make someone feel? Oh, like they're gonna be like, oh, now I could be rich and I could like get famous because I'm the only one that has an orangutan, and like they just want attention from other people. Ah. So these are not decisions people are making because they're thinking about what's best for the orangutans and the rainforest, right? They're not thinking about the orangutans and the no, rainforest. They're, they're just thinking about themselves. Thinking about themselves, about the money, the way you talked about. Now, in, um, in both of these books, we learned about people who are making a different decision, who are making a decision to save those orangutans. What, um, what do you think that help these people to make those decisions? Those rescue oh. workers and things. What do you think what do you think they think book, about to make a decision? In this book at the last part, it just it was saying how you can like spread the word to people. So I think like some other people that saved uh, I mean spread the word and then now like it's going around and everyone's helping the orangutans. Do you think people are starting to connect um, the decision to cut the rainforest down with the fact that we don't have very many orangutans anymore? You started us off a conversation, remember, about how there used to be, what was that number at the beginning that you talked about, uh, Tyler, that you started us off right away, that there used to be so many and then now there's only these few? Um, 
Where was that number that you talked about? Um, uh, was that, that was just right in the beginning. So I remember it was almost one of the first things that we said was there used to be, can you read that? Yeah. The World Wildlife, the world wildlife Fund, WWF, currently has 50 animal species listed uh, as endangered or uh, are currently critically. Mm -hmm. are critically endangered. So all of these animals that are endangered, someone's having an effect on them.